Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Demand. Wing makes first delivery by drone in Virginia. Pilot unions unite to fight attempts to eliminate pilots from the flight deck. And Caltech engineers taught a drone to herd birds away from airports. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. A pioneering commercial beyond visual line of sight delivery by drone brought ice cream to a two-year-old in a demonstration conducted in Virginia by Alphabet's Wing. The delivery flight covered 1.4 miles and arrived within eight minutes from the time the order was completed by the mom of the lucky toddler. It was conducted under new rules that allow some states and other government entities to experiment with beyond visual line of sight drone flights put in place last year. Among those in attendance at the demonstration was Earl Lawrence, director of the FAA's UAS Integration Office. You did see something historic today, Lawrence said. They can share the fact that the U.S. does have package delivery in its future. Virginia listed package delivery through a partnership with Wing as one of its goals in its application with the FAA for partnership in the program. The state proposed three areas for delivery testing. Wise County, Montgomery and Roanoke Counties, and Loudoun County. Wing CEO James Burgess said the company will only set up operations for drone delivery where it is wanted but said the company plans a full launch of the service in the near term. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The first full ABS Intermediate Hull Survey 4 on an oil tanker using UAVs was recently completed by inspection company CyberHawk. A full-class inspection across 19 tanks on board an oil tanker was conducted in a shipyard in Singapore. This included 12 cargo oil tanks, two slop tanks, and five ballast tanks. Attending was the American Bureau for Shipping to ensure the quality of the inspection complied with the specific ABS rules set for tankers. The inspection also had to satisfy the U.S. Coast Guard. In partnership with Alaska Sea Grant and Aleutian Aerial LLC, and with additional support from DJI, Oceans of Man Incorporated has announced the expansion of its free fly initiative into Dutch Harbor, Alaska, to provide UAS aerial support for marine mammal entanglement response efforts in the region. The free fly program, which was launched earlier this year in Hawaii, provides training equipment and management oversight to networks of local volunteer UAS operators that are available to support response groups. Vertigo Aero has announced the launch of integrated distributed electric propulsion systems for the rapidly growing urban air mobility market. The company is leveraging its expertise with hybrid powertrains, electric aerospace propulsions, and attitude control of VTOL aircraft to deliver end-to-end -end powertrain solutions for customers in the urban air mobility market. More than 100 aircraft companies around the world are now competing for a share of the urban air mobility flying car market. Many of these new aircraft concepts were inspired by small-scale consumer drone designs. Swift Engineering has flown the first fully autonomous flight demonstration in the port city of Kobe, Japan. In attendance during the event held July 21st was Governor of the Hyogo Prefecture, Toshizo Ido, and Mayor of the Koba City, Kizo Hisamoto, as well as other government officials and media. The flight took place in Marikin Park, located in the port of Koba City in the Hyogo Prefecture. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Advancements in big technology and the possibility that actual pilots may be minimized as a result is creating some turbulence among airline professionals. During the 64th Air Safety Forum, hosted by ALPA, the unions representing pilots of nearly 50 commercial airlines joined together to voice their opposition 
to a dangerous set of provisions that were added to the FAA reauthorization bill passed earlier this year by the U.S. House of Representatives. The verbiage would authorize a new FAA research and development program in support of single pilot all cargo operations, utilizing remote piloting or computer piloting technology. ALPA adamantly opposes FAA reauthorization Section 744 and will continue to use every resource we have to ensure that this anti-safety provision is not enacted. The inclusion of this unacceptable provision serves as an existential threat to aviation safety, security, the general public, and the airline piloting profession," said Captain Tim Canole, president of ALPA. Manned aircraft may find something else to appreciate from recent adaptations and unmanned technology. Engineers at Caltech have developed a new control algorithm that enables a single drone to herd an entire flock of birds away from an airport. The project was inspired after U.S. Airways Flight 1549 struck a flock of geese shortly after takeoff, and pilots Chesley Sullenberger and Jeffrey Skiles were forced to land in the Hudson River. The passengers on Flight 1549 were only saved because the pilots were so skilled says Soon Jo Chung, an associate professor of aerospace and Bryn Scholar in the Division of Engineering and Applied Science. Herding relies on the ability to manage a flock as a single contained entity, keeping it together while shifting its direction of travel. Each bird in a flock reacts to changes in the behavior of the birds nearest to it. Effective herding requires an external threat, in this case the drone, to position itself in such a way that encourages birds along the edge of a flock to make course changes that then affect the birds nearest to them. The team tested the algorithm on a flock of birds near a field in Korea and found that a single drone could keep a flock of dozens of birds out of a designated airspace. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at avsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.